PC Whiskey here with a new video review. From Kingston, we have the HyperX Fury. 32 gigs of DDR4 in this kit here. You can see two 16 gig modules. The exact model number right there. Pause the screen at any time. And you can see the CL timing 16. 288 pins on these modules, of course. For your latest motherboard, whether it's an Intel or AMD, these ones come ready to go for that XMP profile. Low profile heat spreader, by the way, on this one, so it tucks away neatly, and I'll show you that in the test system that I'm using. Cost efficient, because if you're really trying to give a boost to your machine and give it some life with some decent performance, then obviously this is a great upgrade for the cost, for the price that it costs, and I'll talk about that at the end as well. Here are more specs, in case you're wondering. Here are those timings that uh, the BIOS is auto-detecting and setting those up in the XMP profiles. It will also give you the choice for 3000 megahertz instead of the 3466. And uh, this is the test system that I'll be installing it in actually. So you have a good idea on what I'm using here when I show you some of the benchmarks. There's that motherboard that I reviewed previously and I'll add the links in case you're wondering about the overall system benchmarks that I did using this board. You can see the memory here installed. The height of 7.2 millimeters is just enough to tuck away underneath and not touch. There's still clearance there between those fans, as you can see on that radiator that I have on top. So very nicely done here on this machine. I've got a nice uh, black uh, on black, basically, uh, system. but Believe it or not, it's RGB. So even though the memory is not RGB, the system is, and it looks great. As you can see there, the HyperX Fury is black, but it's got a nice little glow there because of the RGB fans. In the BIOS, you can set things up to the default XMP profile, or you can ramp it up to 3600, which is what I did also in um, overclocking this memory. Now, the Phantom Gaming Board allows me to do that. It's a great stable board. The memory, of course, uh, works very well with this Intel Core processor that I've got, the Intel Core i5-9400, as you can see right there, and uh, low wattage, so uh, the memory itself is going to run anywhere from 1.35 volts, roughly, uh, with uh, this system that has six cores and six threads on this ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming 7 motherboard, as you can see there with the latest BIOS, and the uh, memory, I have it installed. As I showed you a second ago on the motherboard, uh, here it is, uh, the Kingston HyperX Fury DDR4 low profile memory at these timings. The um, specific XMP profiles are specified right here in CPU-Z so you can see it very nicely um, and uh, you can have it running either at uh, 3466, one, that's the one of the uh, XMP profiles, or you can have the uh, uh, 3000. And you can see there, there's CL16 or CL15 times. Uh, the graphics card is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. Okay. And uh, we're going to flip over now to do some benchmarks. Okay. First things first on the ADA64 test results. Uh, this is obviously the CPU speed that I have it running at. And the read, write, copy, and latency results. You can pause the screen at any time so you can look at this slowly. Running it at 3466 megahertz cl16 timings you can see there how it performs and compares to other systems again on the read the uh, write the copy and the latency tests okay so these are the four tests that i ran in ada 64 so that way you can have it there and compare it to other machines now i did increase it to 3600 in the bias the megahertz so a little bit of an overclock boost and you can see there that the read write copy and latency uh, does improve you get a little bit more bandwidth uh, so you can squeeze a little bit more out of it if your board allows that right but definitely the system is nice and stable and running very nice uh, in this machine Running the uh, performance test 9.0, you can see here again how the system performs on that memory mark, the read, uh, uncached memory test. You can see right there smack in the middle of the screen, uh, the green bar is my results on my test system compared to other memory modules. So if you're curious about, you know, how well this performed, well, it gave it a almost four and a half, five star almost rating on, uh, on this system and on the memory. Uh, for 3D... 
uh, gaming, you know, and, and, and overall system tests. Uh, a flavor of one of these tests that I've done is the Time Spy. Okay, you can see there the memory, the two 16 gig modules running at default uh, XMP profile 3466. And here is how this system compared to two other types of systems. I ran other gaming benchmarks and I'm going to add the link to those other benchmarks that I ran in uh, my previous video so you can see how it performed with this memory in it. It's currently priced at roughly under $200 US. Definitely recommend it. I'd like to thank HyperX Gaming for providing it, the uh, makers from Kingston Memory. And uh, comment below. Let me know what you think about this memory. Is it something you plan to perhaps get to upgrade your PC in the upcoming future? Thanks for watching.